I've been living here for 20 years by myself. Bill was a wool classer and a, a butcher and a baker. He died on the July the 31st, 20 years ago. And then I lost my daughter. Yeah, that was dreadful. I thought I'd never get over there. I don't think you do. I don't think you ever get over losing a child. Pat came to us a couple of years ago. She was hungry and lonely and needed some company. Um, she came to us looking for some food. We helped her out by delivering a hamper for her because at that time she was unable to get around very much. Some of our visits aren't just about going along and giving her a hand or taking some food to her. They're just about sitting down having a cup of coffee and having a chat. Every person coming through our door is important to us. In terms of our Red Bag program, a lot of our clients live in isolation. They don't have the experience that many people have of a Christmas party with friends and family sitting around a tree, passing presents around. And if they did have that experience, it was many, many years ago. If you give $35 or some donations of food for your red bag, this red bag's going to help a, group, a family or an individual get through Christmas this year. She came up to see me with a hamper. Oh, brought me lots of things like tinned food and little puddings, little Christmas puddings. Lots of goodies. They made my year, it was a good year. 